Remember how much it shook before? Well, we were just messing around and I mean, like, <laughs> they're stiff. They're in there. How's it going guys? I know it's been a minute since I've been on the channel, but still here. EG still here and we actually got some new goodies for it. We got some Hasport engine mounts. It's a full bolt billet construction. And uh, I went with the extreme race uh, bushings for it. So it's not the highest up, but it's like one step down. Um, yeah, motor mounts are blown on this and they've been blown for a minute. So we're gonna see how they feel, show you guys how to install them. And we got a couple other new goodies for the car. So, I mean, we got that little spoon sock. It's just a couple tiny things. And then, um, yeah, but today the focus is gonna be these new Hasports and we're gonna show you guys the difference between these blown out ones, which shake like crazy, and then the new ones. So yeah. So just to give you an idea of how blown out these are, you can no joke see the shake in it just by lifting a little bit. It's ridiculous. So we're gonna start by doing the uh, the driver's side and the passenger side engine mounts, and then we're actually gonna go for the back. We just jack jacked it up right now, so it's a little bit easier to get to the back one once we get there. But um, first you actually wanna use like a piece of wood or something underneath the oil pan when you jack it up or off of the transmission, so you're just giving a little bit of cushion there. <laughs> All right, so for the driver's side motor mount, you have three 13 inch. Ah, oh, that's a lot. They're 14s. Millimeter. Yeah, 14 millimeter. <laughs> and for this big, big boy right there, you need a 17. And I just grab a breaker bar. Put some <laughs> just put some scrimp in it. Yeah. Oh, it's, she's on there tough, bro. <laughs> Gotta let the people know, you know, old cars, they get crusty, so want to make sure you get a wire brush and clean off all, you know, bold stuff and whatnot, you know, it's good to have clean things. Do that, Damon. There it goes. <coughs> wow. We made that way more difficult than it had to be. <laughs> I was waiting for that. <laughs> no, 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 no. Awesome. We should have a little scale, bro. Let me feel this. I have one upstairs. You do? Go yeah. get it. Let me feel this. So with the Hasport mounts, Unless you get their full kit, which involves another bracket and whatnot, the factory studs aren't gonna work for the motor mount because this little conical shape it has won't allow the motor mount to sit flush with the bracket, so they provide new hardware. And for those of you who don't know how to kind of get out a stud, there's a trick to it. You're gonna use the factory nut, slap one on there, grab the second one, And then 14 millimeter wrench and the socket. We're gonna kind of lock it into place. And by doing so, when you loosen the bottom one, it should break the stud loose. I can go ahead and just pull it out. Bam. So we got the mount all bolted up to this mount that goes to the actual engine. And right now we're just getting thread lock on everything so none of them back themselves out just from vibrations and whatnot. It's a pretty straightforward process, you know, just removing stuff and putting it back in. And the other two mounts are essentially the same, just different positioning and awkward spaces like the rear one. It's But it's a pretty straightforward process, nothing crazy and that's pretty much how you replace motor mounts real quick so we got both the front engine mounts in well I guess engine mount and trans mount and remember how much it shook before well we were just messing around and I mean like <laughs> they're stiff they're in there yeah for any EG owners or any uh, Honda owners using the B series uh, swap mounts or any Hasport mounts, they supply you with three of these um, hex head bolts 
and those are for this front mount. And then on the other side, you're going to have to pull out, uh, where is it? You're going to have to pull out this stud that goes in the back and they supply you with a bolt for it right there. And then same thing with those two. I have a three bolt system. So if you're actually getting these mounts for your car, you're going to have to figure out on your driver's side, if you have a two bolt or a three, three bolt, <laughs> I'm tired. If you have a two or three bolt on that side and that's, what's going to determine um, what mount you can get for it. So. Finally finished putting everything in. I mean, a couple hours later, ran into a couple issues with the rear motor mount, but I mean, it's just trying to get it all back together, but we're hopefully gonna get it on the road and see how it, um, how it feels compared to the blown out motor mounts because I don't know if Trey showed you guys this. This was the old rear and that's supposed to be all connected together and it's not doing anything, so. That's the rear motor mount. That wasn't doing anything for us. So we'll see. It's probably gonna feel a lot different. I, I didn't even know that happened, but now we know. And all back together. So already just getting into the car, you can tell that the shifter feels entirely different. I don't know if it's just because there's not that play from it shaking. I also changed out a little bushing that goes to the, um, What's it called? The uh, is traction that, bar. It was that traction bar that goes right next to the shifter. I also changed that out, but both of those in place. I mean, I don't know which one did it, but it feels like a bolt action right now. <laughs> it's like I threw a short shifter in it. Lots of noise. The clutch feels entirely different. I mean, already. And this feels gnarly. <laughs> oh my god, this is ridiculous. Oh, you can hear the trans whine. Did you hear that? I hear it. I can feel all the rattles in the car right now, and like when I get on throttle, you can hear the trans. Like, actually, it sounds like I have a dog box right now. Like, it's gnarly. Um, yeah, but between road noise and freaking this, like, that's like the most race car thing I've put in this car so far. <laughs> like, by sound and by like making it a non dailyable vehicle. Like, this just sounds gnarly. Oh my lord. because that rear mount, but like, quite cool. on its maiden voyage with the new Hasport mounts and I didn't think it would change everything that much but I was telling Trey like clutch engagement feels entirely different he even drove it and compared to what it used to feel like like it was a little bit jello-y just because the engine was tilting like crazy so 
the wheels weren't getting the power right away, but everything's just instant, like throttle response instant. Everything just, it, it's not tilting anymore. So any input you give to it, it, it knows what it wants to do now. Um, other than that, I mean, it's super loud inside. <laughs> like, like when you're driving around, it just feels like you hear everything going on with the car, which is awesome because it's like, I don't want to, I don't want to sound like a, like a weirdo, but like you're one with the car. Like, no, like it, it, you feel like, you know, what's going on with the car, what it wants to do. And it's like, it's kind of talking to you instead of before where it's just like, <laughs> every time you'd engage the clutch, but yep, that's, uh, that's kind of our idea of, you know, our, this is the first set of, I guess, race mounts that we've had on the channel. And so far it's, it's amazing. Like, I can't wait to take it to a track once I get the new coilovers put on this. I mean, but stay tuned. Um, we're going to have more content coming. I know the EG has been off the channel for a while, but we got a lot more new stuff coming for it. Hopefully it's first track day coming up soon and stay tuned for that. Um, other than that, if you want to reach out to us with, with uh, any questions about what uh, what Hasport mounts or if we have any answers for you that you know we can help you out with if you're trying to choose the right uh, density for the for the actual bushing inside, just reach out to us. Let us know in the comments. Other than that, feel free to uh, subscribe if you like our content and uh, have a good night. Now give me a little more juice. That's good. That's good. Well, we don't need this bitch, so I'm just gonna fuck it up. <laughs> no! <laughs> I got that. I also got insane bitch and fuck it up. <laughs>